In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus ZnCO3. This is sulfuric acid, zinc carbonate. The first thing we need to do when we balance these net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. In this case, it's already balanced. So we can move to the next step where we write the state for each substance. Sulfuric acid is a strong acid. It's going to dissociate in water into its ions. It'll dissolve. We write AQ. Zinc carbonate is insoluble in water, so it's going to need to be a solid here when we start out because it can't dissolve in water. For the products, zinc sulfate, sulfates in general, they're soluble if you know your solubility rules. So aqueous, carbon dioxide is a gas. Let's call water a liquid here. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. On the periodic table, hydrogens in group one has a one plus ionic charge, and the whole sulfate is two minus. So we'll have two hydrogen ions, two H plus, and I won't write the states now, we'll do that at the end, plus the sulfate ion, SO4, two minus. For the zinc carbonate here, it's a solid, and with net ionic equations, we don't break solids apart into their ions. So let's just call this ZnCO3, zinc carbonate. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, zinc is always going to be 2 plus, and then we said the sulfate ion 2 minus. So we'll have the zinc ion, Zn2 plus, and then we'll have that sulfate ion again, SO4, 2 minus, and carbon dioxide is a gas. We don't split gases apart in net ionic equations. Water is a liquid. We don't split liquids apart either. So we're only splitting these strong electrolytes, these aqueous solutions apart. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation here. As I look, the only thing I see that's the same here in the reactants and in the products is that sulfate ion. So that's a spectator ion and we're going to get rid of that. And once we do that, we have our net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus ZnCO3. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sulfuric acid plus zinc carbonate. You'll note charge is conserved. We have two times one plus. So we have two plus on this side. Over here, we have two plus. Charge is balanced. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus ZnCO3. Thanks for watching.